Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. And what a hot Monday to start off the work week. We had a lot of sunshine. As you can see out there, hardly a cloud around. Our first stop will be in Temple to show you what's happening out there. This is our live Centex Roof System Sky Tracker. It's on top of the Kyle Building in downtown Temple. All is quiet, but it is hot. That is for sure. High temperature today here in Waco, 101 degrees. The old record was 100 in the Last year was in 1954 when we saw temperatures this hot on this day, but 101 second time this season or this year, I should say that we hit 100 degrees in the second time this month. So I hope uh, we're about finished with that, but we'll keep you tracked and keep track of that right now, though uh, temperatures are still very, very uh, hot. 100 degrees here in Waco, 101 from Comanche over toward Brownwood. It's 98 in Mejia, 99 from Temple over toward Colleen, and it's 97 right now in the College Station area. Our satellite radar, pretty quiet conditions. This front, though, definitely bringing some uh, changes as we hit the afternoon hours indefinitely by Wednesday, but right now it's located in Oklahoma back toward the panhandle out ahead of it. There's a few spotty showers from Wichita Falls down uh, just north of Abilene, but that's mainly about it. Take a look at the temperature change here over the next uh, or the last 24 hours. Not really uh, too bad here in our area. I want you to focus to our northwest though behind the front. Look at that. That front means business. It's 10 degrees colder or at least cooler right now up in Amarillo than it was yesterday uh, at this time. So definitely uh, that was what's moving in our direction tonight, though. Clear skies this evening, still very, very warm conditions. Temperatures in the 90s as we stop the clock here at midnight. A few more clouds will start to increase from the northwest, but still uh, partly cloudy skies by midnight and eventually increasing clouds overnight. And by tomorrow morning, we'll see uh, a lot of clouds around here. Could see a spotty shower for some of us, but that front still back to our northwest. So tomorrow morning for your morning commute, it's going to be a muggy start. We'll see a lot of clouds, maybe a hint of sunshine, but still that front to our northwest. As we go throughout the morning, again, a 20%, 30% chance of a scattered shower as it moves through. It'll start to move through by lunchtime, and then we're still looking at temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. Eventually, it's going to slide down toward the Brazos Valley, it looks like, by the evening on Tuesday, and then eventually that cooler air will start to catch up with the front, and it usually takes about six to eight hours after the front clears, and we're going to start to see it late Tuesday into Wednesday. And look at this. I can feel the uh, fresh air already. It's going to be really nice as we start the day on Wednesday. A lot of sunshine, not very humid with high temperatures in the 80s. So the payoff looks pretty good. We just need to get there. The clouds will be uh, on the increase overnight. Still looks good and uh, quiet this evening, but still very warm. 75 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, partly sunny skies. It'll be a breezy day, 88 degrees. There's that 20% chance of a scattered shower across the area as the front moves through. There we go. Wednesday, first day of fall, 84 degrees. And look at those lows, low to mid 50s. That will be nice. That is for sure. Right now, high and dry all week long. Temperatures over the weekend back into the 90s. 93 degrees maybe on Sunday. Those nighttime lows will be very, very comfortable as we hit the rest of the week. We're talking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mornings, and you'll notice down toward Bryan and College Station, a 30% chance of that front moving through, about 85 degrees on Wednesday, but nighttime lows dropping into the mid-50s, highs, upper 80s to lower 90s.